Welcome to Midwest Hunting Outdoors Tips and Tricks. We're going to do a product review. What uh, what are we looking at today? Well, I tell you what, it's been a while since we got together, hasn't it, Joel? It has been a while. So, um, well, I tell you what, as you know, I had a old, late 70s uh, International Harvester 684 and really loved the tractor. It was a gear-driven diesel, um, like it, and it was a... Uh, International Harbor 684, so just about 70 horsepower would do just about anything I want. However, um, as you know, our land is pretty hilly. And so gear driven, brakes, dealing with the hills, it gets a little scary. And you had an old style cab on there too that uh, helped with some things, but visibility and getting in and out. Not so much. It can be a little sketchy at times. There's there's a couple places on our farm that I wouldn't even go just because I was so afraid. And, and you, I mean, you have, you and our buddy Joe both have four-wheel drive assist tractors. And and it was just time. It was time for me. I, I, I didn't want my wife to get in the tractor or anybody else because I was afraid for them just because there's moments with my old tractor. I just didn't feel comfortable. So... Again, reliability-wise, excellent tractor. I just needed something to where I could go other places. Again, if I would have had a flat farm, I'd still have that tractor today. So, I decided to upgrade. And so, I did some, uh, I did some searching. And part of, part of the search was, is I looked at all different types of tractors. I looked at used tractors. And I was thinking I wanted to get a, a, a green machine of some sort, but uh, with COVID and the supply chain, used tractors were super expensive, and and I was looking at something with 500 hours, four-wheel drive assist, 60, 65 horse was about what I wanted, and I didn't want deaf. And so I decided to go up in our local town and. Uh, Belzer implement and I talked to them they shot me a price about buying a brand new Kubota and I'll be honest with you it really wasn't even in wasn't even on my radar buying something brand new and nor Kubota I had my mind on I think you and Joe both have green machines I was thinking I wanted a green machine and uh, and I wanted hydrostatic and so I went and talked to them to shop me a price. And then I started looking elsewhere. Went on, uh, oh gosh, what's the, the tractor site? Yeah, tractor, tractors.com, I think. Yeah. Tractor House. Tractor House. I went on Tractor House. And, boy, I just tell you, the more and more I thought about it, the price that Belzer shot me when I looked at used, and then I called other implements, they were more than fair with me. I mean, and I, they're not a sponsor. I'm just being honest with you. I, nobody could touch their price. And uh, so I went home, talked to the boss. The boss gave, boss gave me the okay. And uh, I bought, I upgraded my tractor. I did a trade in, um, did a trade in on my old vehicle, old tractor. And I bought a 63, 64 horse uh, Kubota. It's called an MX 6000. Fields of our pots, feelings part our ways, keeping us close but estranged now. Um, and the reason I went with something that big is, is I have a seven foot tiller. I wanted to be able to use that, that tiller, so I needed something that would power that. And this will do that. And uh, again, these guys, super helpful. It's a lower profile. It's a it's a large, compact tractor, built super, super dur durable. Um, I made a couple of little changes as far as some accessories. I added another hydraulics jack on the back by the PTO just in case I wanted it. Um, but it came with a loader. I skipped, I skipped on the cab. Uh, the cab added about 7,000 for it. I just, in my mind, could not justify adding a cab. Um, but, 
but hey, maybe we ought to get the camera and just kind of do a little uh, close-ups on some. Yeah, of let's let's shoot some of the features. Okay. As you can see, we got uh, it came with a loader, and there's a couple of options. You could get a box loader. You could get a heavy duty. And after talking to the salesman, uh, Colin, Colin told me basically, hey, this is this is pretty durable. Um, it's what the uh, what they buy for almost all of their all of their Kubota tractors. So I went with it, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, to upgrade, it would have been quite a bit more money. So um, it's got a couple things, mother, that were on my tractor that this doesn't have, and that's a couple of chain hooks right here on the sides. So I'm going to go to a local welder, and I'm going to have those put on here and welded so that if I want to chain up something, I can do that and it'll be ready to go. But other than that, really slick. My other tractor, the, the, uh, I couldn't take off the loader. Not Certainly not easy, and if you took it off, you're, you're going to leave it off because that's how much work it was. Well, with this one, I've got a couple of, a couple of levers right here. Pop this out, pop the other one out. Boom, you can drive away from it. So really slick there. The other piece it's got is if I want to drop this whole loader attachment, I got a couple of steps, I got a couple of pins I do. I've got a leg right here. You, you hydraulic, put it up on uh, legs and drive away. Again, really slick. Um, so let's talk tires. I, I went kind of went back and forth on tires. They had, I could have got it with tractor tires, but I ended up going with industrial R4s. And that's what you see here. Again, it's, a, it's like a modified tractor tire, if you will. Um, it's certainly not a turf tire. It comes four wheel drive assist. I think these tires are gonna be sufficient for what I'm doing and not tear things up, which is when you got hilly ground, you always gotta worry about erosion. So tearing stuff up's not what I wanna do. So what we'll do now is I'll take you through, look at the We'll, we'll look at the engine, but in order to do that, you've got to pull this pin, move your grill guard forward. There's a pin right here where you just pull on that, and up she comes. And as you can see, I mean, your battery is right there, super easy to access. I mean, my, on my other tractor, it was not not easy um, let me go off and it's got also another grate so you've got a you've got a filter here for your radiator so all you got to do you got to lift up this lift up your loader or if you don't have your loader on and I would say you know what that's probably if I was gonna bet that hey there's a safety feature here that they hadn't really thought all the way through it's this right here if I have my loader on, I've got to lift it all the way up, reach underneath and pull it. And if you were to have anything, and it, maybe the risk is pretty low in how they see that, but then I pull this filter out and clean it all out. But in order to it not be a risk, you got to have the loader ass assembly off, and most people aren't going to do that. So now we're on the other side, a couple of little things. So you see I've got my radiator fluid here, radiator access point here. I've got my oil filter right here so if I want to change that I've got a hydraulic filter right here I've actually got two hydraulic filters I've got one on both sides so really excuse me here's my oil filter right here so super easy uh, to access and do some of that maintenance yourself which is I mean really what you want to do you want to be able to service this tractor by yourself if you can um, let me shut this So it comes with a 540 PTO, really slick. It's where you add your hydraulic fluid. Uh, I'm gonna actually put on a quick disconnect, but I think this thing would work pretty slick even without a disconnect because you can move this in and out. You also have um, some, I'm not gonna do it right now just because I don't wanna have to mess with it, but you also have multiple slots where I can swing this in and out on both sides and make it very flexible and tighten it up. And most of the time you have to use these sleeves on your pins to stop that because it's moving back and forth. Well, how they have this set up, that eliminates that need because you can really start to make it pretty tight to where it's not gonna sway back and forth. So really a nice add. Like I said, 540 PTO. I added two additional ports. Um, that's just for me. 
Um, it wasn't very expensive, and I'd rather have it done by the factory rather than do it after the fact. So uh, that way it all matches. A little, uh, little toolbox at the, in the back. But the nice thing is they provide you the ports for your hydraulics. So if you have an, a, an accessory that you want to come in and it didn't match up, they've already given you, they've already given them to you. So I've got, I've got four right here. So really slick. Uh, winding this up a little bit. So uh, you've got your PTO here. It's really nice because you push down to turn to turn it on, and all you got to do to shut that off is tap that, and boom, it's done. Uh, so hopefully you don't have to have that. You have your throttle acceleration here. You have your uh, bucket lift, so forward and backwards, high and low, left and right, tilt your bucket. So really slick, very simple display. Uh, you got your fuel, temperature, uh, your RPMs, but it's also got some lights on here too that um, I hope not to see anytime soon. Um, one nice little thing, so... This has got your brake. You can have it as individual pedals or as one pedal. And you can lock that right here. And now you have your, your parking brake on. If you ever need that to go, you just step on it and it pops right off. I've got another thing right here with regards to I have on this left hand side is basically a cruise control. So if you're on a field and you're and you're going to go at a certain speed, you just move this around and you don't have to worry about your hydro, hydrostatic uh, foot pedal. You've already got it set and you're rocking and rolling. Really slick. It's got a low, medium, and high. Low would be for your tilling. Medium would be for whatever else you've got doing from a work-wise. And high if you're riding into town and you want to go in a, in a quick way. High is going to get it done for you. Uh, let's see what else. I got the upgraded seat. Came with uh, it. Came with one uh, um, shoulder rest. I think I got another one here. Yep. And really slick. Very comfortable. You can adjust it as far as uh, for bumps. As far as hey, how stiff you want that that seat to be. You've got your raised lower over here on your PTO and your equipment. And uh, let's see what else we got going on here. review of the Kubota 6000 MX 6000 to be exact uh, it's a great little tractor and until next time be, be safe, safe have, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors, outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe. safe.
have, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.